Hello everybody. Welcome back to how to build a B1 bomber 10 minutes at a time. Told you this would be an all day layup. Just now ready to slop some resin on there. I wanted to take all these pieces now that that's sticky enough and work them into my corners. What I did is I laid it all out and trimmed it and took this spreader and really worked it in them corners. So I already got two layers in this corner and I worked that in all the way over there and all around it. Now I'm ready to slop some resin on that center and roll out some cloth. Y'all want to watch? Whoop. Gotta move my fingers off that lens. Alright. Come on, let's make some room there. Alright, there we go. Got me some cloth cut too. We're gonna put y'all over there. Maybe just sit tight and watch for a little bit. Sound that a man dreads most. <laughs> the old rubber glove. When you're going to the doctor, that is. All right. I'm going to use that box of brushes that I bought today. <coughs> Got me some resin mixed up. I'm just going to slop this first coat on there. I'm going to get it on there heavy. Pull me out of the way here. And that'll make that first layer be easy to roll out. That's why I wanted to get this done. I mean, get a coat on this end. It would have been a bear trying to roll that big old piece out over this stuff that's already tacky, you know. And get in here. And I was uploading some movies. So while the movies were uploading... I'll put this little bit at the end and I'm ready to get this stuff laid up, man. At least it ain't gonna be two in the morning, you know. How's that? You guys still see? get up tomorrow and I'm only going to have a, a part and plane on my one little part and plane on my wing tip and this wing mold will be done and I can get to my other parts I got some other parts I'm going to get on since this is done Get to Texas, just ASAP. Get to all the parts I need. I have us a bomber, people. Now we just slop this resin off thick, his first coat. See, and by doing this piece separate allowed me to really work it in that corner good. Because it would have been hard rolling this big old piece of cloth out with 
that white blue being so sticky, you know. And this just makes it a whole lot easier. I can really work that glass around them dots. I think this was the way to go. Now when I roll that big old roll out, it'll slide on this resin. The wet resin anyway. Uncured resin. That was a hunk of fiberglass I actually picked up over there. Okay, need some more red zone. And this is a 25 to 100 mix. So we'll mix up 500 grams of hardener. Twenty-five grams. 